welcome back. We are once again doing some Oregon Trail Sims. By the time this comes out, I'm probably now playing the challenge on Twitch, but I wanted to record the footage because people seem to enjoy watching me make Sims and they're nice short little videos. But today we are actually working on the Wainwrights. So this is Boyd Wainwright and him, he's married to Susan and they have a daughter Blair. I'm not going to be making Blair. She's going to be like a born in game sim just so that she has both of her parents genetics. Um, yeah, I kind of struggled with Boyd. For starters, I wanted him to wear like a bowler hat, but I didn't have any with like super pale white hair. So I had to give up on that. But I don't think that it's a necessary thing to recognize the character. I also didn't have glasses that I liked, so he does not have glasses on, which again is fine. I'm probably going to try to download a pair before I start playing the challenge so he'll have glasses, but otherwise, again, these Sims, through, Sims 3 recreations are really hard for me. Like, I don't know, maybe with practice I'll get a little bit better, but it's just... They're so puddingy, and trying to translate that has just been so hard. I have so much respect now for like, you see those artist challenge where they're like, okay, draw Bart Simpson, but draw him in all these other different styles, and people just nail it, and I'm like, I'm not nailing it right now. <laughs> Obviously, this is not art, but that's the only equivalent I can think of. But anyway, Boyd is, apparently he spends his workday sitting in a messy desk typing away at a computer and he spends his days off at home sitting in a messy living room typing away at a computer. He sounds delightful, actually sounds like me, let's be honest, but he's a slob, neurotic, couch potato, a genius, and a computer whiz. And he's actually a lower level than his wife, so he's not really a workaholic. I'm actually reading, apparently his hair is actually pastel mint green if you look and cast, so okay, that's fine. But anyways, I don't know how I'm gonna translate him to like Western-ish. I'm kind of leaning towards like mad scientists. Maybe he's doing things that are not, I can think it was like the chicken battery thing, but something along those lines where like he's trying to do something. Maybe he can be into phrenology, but I mean, that's not super computery. I don't know, we'll figure something out for him. If you have any good ideas for like, computers, but like semi-Western, Victorian-ish. I mean, we could go steampunk, but we'll see. But yeah, let me know, because right now I don't know. Although, again, yeah, I guess you can't really let me know. You know what? I might change when this is posted. Who knows? Who knows? The posting schedule is not my boss. <laughs> but yeah, I just, like I said, I really wanted to use the bowler hat. I think it's He's in like a rattlesnake looking jacket, which is interesting. And I knew I didn't have anything remotely like that, but I knew that he liked the color black. So I was like, okay, well maybe I can get something kind of cool in black. So I went with this just cause it's a little funky looking with like the polka dots and everything. Eh, I think he turned out okay. He could be better, but it'll work. Now, Susan, Susan is a computer whiz, genius, couch potato, snob, workaholic. So she's, they've got some things in common, but also not some things in common. And the only thing that keeps Susan working such long hours is she likes having expendable simoleons to spend on all of her toys. So I definitely think she's gonna be a bit of a frivolous spender who's gonna maybe get gadgets and things like if the home shopping network existed in Western or Victorian-esque times. That would be her jam. And I know I keep saying Western times, and that's because the only way I can describe it is like Western romance novel. That's what we're going for in this Oregon Trail challenge. Uh, and you're not really seeing it on YouTube, obviously, because I'm only doing it on Twitch. But yeah, I just, I couldn't narrow down like a set of years just because I kept finding cool CC that didn't necessarily fit into the time frame I initially picked and yeah, it just escalated from there. So I was like, you know what? We're going romance novel where I can kind of do whatever I want. It's fine. <laughs> it's interesting though, cause it says spend on all her toys, but then it doesn't even, there's no real description of like what that is besides like chess. So I don't know. I like the idea of her still being a chess prodigy. It appeals to me. She was even harder than her husband because her mouth, just with like the lipstick and everything, it was hard to get. 
Also, I'm noticing another pattern with the Sims 3 eyes with the eyelids. So the ones that do have eyelids, they're only kind of, when they're smiling, it seems like it's only on one side. So I kind of started leaning away from that as well. It's like every time I figure out like a trick to them and I'm like, oh, actually, no. <laughs> I think she looks okay though. And I'm really curious to see what Blair's gonna look like. At this point, I have not obviously made her, but that is the game plan for later on today. So you'll be able to see her on Twitch and I will also post pictures on Tumblr, of course. I can't even remember what hair I gave her. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I don't remember. Because originally I wanted to give everybody hats, but like that has not been working out. A lot of the old hats that I was thinking of, like the meshes are broken or like you'll download the mesh and it's still not showing up and it's very upsetting and sad. But I knew I wanted to have kind of stringy hair. I say that and now I just remembered I didn't give her stringy hair. I knew that that was a thought process, but I did go end up going with this bonnet. I love this bonnet. It's just so cute. She could still have stringy hair under there. We don't know. So yeah, that is Susan. So let me know what you guys think. Um, you're free to join us on Twitch if you feel like it. Like this video if you enjoyed it. I don't think I have any other pluggy type things to say. So with that, I'm gonna go. I'll see you in the next one.